Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be looking at the newly added feature to the Zap Proxy tool that is HUD. Now HUD stands for Heads Up Displays and I must say this is the amazing feature added by the developer community to the Zap Proxy tool and it can totally change the way we use to test the application. Now before moving further, I must say that you have to update your Zap Proxy tool to the version 2.8.0 because it is newly introduced to this version. If you don't know how to update your Zap Proxy tool to the newly updated version, then you can have a look at the one of the previous video that is on updating OWEP's uh, Zap Proxy tool on Kali Linux. So moving on on further open your browser uh, sorry your application and if you will look at the second line of the option where we have the interception option at the end you will find these new options which were not available inside the previous version that is 2.7.0 okay these functions are only available from 2.8.0 onwards you will find this radar option here okay it says uh, disable the zap hud or the enable you can disable or enable this function from a uh, feature from here okay so right now it's in enable states you have to enable it okay and after enable uh, enabling it you will find the mozilla firefox uh, option here uh, simply click on the uh, Mozilla Firefox one and what if it will do it will open the Mozilla Firefox browser which is totally inside the control of the Zap application so you don't have to uh, configure any proxy or anything uh, or uh, setting uh, setting up the certificates or such things I must say that uh, you should have a Java development environment installed on your app, uh, application okay so once the browser got uh, open you will find something like this page appears explore your application with zap okay open up the new tab and let me open a website Okay, so this is the test website. As the uh, as the HUD function is new, uh, sometimes uh, it might be possible that it doesn't got load. So what you can do, you can simply refresh the page. If you will, uh, if you get this uh, pop up, that means the Zap, uh, sorry, HUD feature is enabled and it's working fine. Okay, so you will get uh, two options here: take the HUD tutorial, uh, or you will, uh, you can continue to your target right now uh, we are already uh, on the tutorial mode so uh, we will be clicking on continue to our target you can also select the don't show the screen again okay so let me click on the continue to your target and if you will notice that you have got the options which are the similar options which are available on the application on your browser you can see here and at this age also okay so what are these options these options look similar to the cockpit options right this side we got the option for uh, uh, adding a domain to the scope or uh, excluding it from this uh, from the scope or the interception which is uh, which is uh, called the break option inside the zap proxy tool also we got the alerts you will find the high alerts medium alerts low alerts and information based alerts on this side 
you will find the different sites we have visited on the browser okay you can find the spider option active scan option okay different type of attack modes which are available on the application now what this feature does that you don't have to uh, again and again switch to browser and application again application to browser to uh, active activate this option or uh, activate the interception option you can simply do on your browser on your browser okay let me show you an example if i will search uh, hello okay a new page will get loaded with the search hello okay now it will take a time to load okay? not much time depend on the speed of your internet so you can find the alerts here so it does not uh, have any error on this page let me go back sorry i mean uh, for error i mean to say the alerts okay so on this page it has uh, generated error uh, alerts uh, which are low three low alerts and one is the medium if you will click on the alert you will find what kind of alerts has been produced on based of the uh, based on the alerts you can further uh, go for finding that vulnerability okay if you click on the uh, alert generated you will find the which domains it contains the alert okay similarly if i will open the another website let me open the google.com okay so our uh, google search bar has been loaded and i am waiting for the options to get available for me now uh, this totally depends on the internet speed so you can understand what i am saying so you can see uh, different alerts has been generated for this page okay that is six alert has been generated for the low and that's for the google.com domain okay and if you will look at the right side option okay you will find the sites tree under this sites you will find all the domains we have uh, visited inside this browser okay so if you want to add this domain to the scope you can simply click on the first option over here on the left side so it will ask add current domain to the scope and you can say add it okay so what what it will do it will simply uh, scan the request from this domain okay now if we want to intercept the request like we used to do uh, in every application we have to constantly switch on to uh, proxy tool and again switch into the browser so it can make this process very simple and hassle free simply you have to click on the off track and it will on the interception now when you will click on the submit button or uh, suppose you got the form on the website here we got the search bar okay so i will simply write the test and click on go what it will do it will simply intercept our request on the browser so we don't have to uh, again and again switching to the application and again switching to the browser so it makes it hassle free for us we can also change the parameters you can find the post parameters here okay it says search for test let me inject a uh, access a script here okay if you want to uh, forward the 
uh, request step by step okay you can simply click on this step and it will only allow to one request to go further again step it will allow the another one okay and if you want to turn off the interception you can simply click on the another option here let me show you i think uh, all the request has been over let me reload this page okay we send it and you can see the interception is still on here okay you can simply uh, turn off the interception from here also or you can uh, uh, simply click on the continue and it will turn off the interception and uh, will allow the all the requests to move further let me show you so i am again turning off uh, on the interception and test okay i will select the test click on it and you can find the continue option here you can simply click on the continue and it will allow the rest of the request to get forwarded so i think this is the amazing feature that is developed by the zap community and i think it will make your work very easy